I'm not going to talk about my professional experience and background. I want to talk to you about a union brother. I believe I'm the only union member here as a candidate. I'm a member of SEIU Local 1973. My father was the president of the AFL CIO. He was the first union president to back John F. Kennedy when he ran for president. I don't say that to boast, I say that because I was born up as a union kid. A union business was in my family, it's been in my thought. As a member of the school committee, the city council, and as mayor, I've negotiated dozens of contracts, dozens of contracts, and I've tried to be fair, especially to those in uh, public safety. I separated police and fire when I was mayor because they put their lives on the line, so I didn't do any pattern bargaining. I wanted to make sure that those people who took the hit were out front on the front lines Got the, got the better share of the pot from the taxpayers of the city of Springfield, because quite frankly, I believe that they deserved it. I've negotiated, as I said, dozens of contracts as mayor. I've taken a look at your contract, and quite frankly, it's one of the worst ones that I've seen. And I don't blame anybody in particular for that. I know it's part of the culture. I know it's part of Boston, but I think you can do an awful lot better. And I think, quite frankly, as sheriff, I can make sure that you do better. During my listening tour and talking to you, uh, you came up with a series of proposals that you wanted to see implemented. I packaged those proposals. They're here. It's an 11-point plan. It's a direct correlation to what you want. And the amazing thing is, it's basic fairness. I think you've been treated unfairly. I think there's unfair labor practices going on. And I'm prepared, and I told your union president and your executive board, I'll sign this document right now, right in front of all of you, as a commitment to the changes I will make starting in November, after I'm elected chair, that will go into place on January 1st, during my first uh, day in office. These are easy. I'm not even asking for anything in return. This is basic fairness. I think you've been treated unfairly. So I'm committed to working with you. I also bring, I think, a level of experience in Boston that my colleagues don't. I work with Governor Baker, Lieutenant Governor Toledo, on a, on a daily basis. And I think I can deliver because you're going to be in store for some budget cuts next year. The legislature has indicated they've got almost a billion dollar shortfall going into the next fiscal year, which starts on July 1st. You're going to need somebody down here to protect that budget. The sheriff's had it pretty good, quite frankly, over the last 42 years. That's a, that's a tribute to him. Mm -hmm. But he's gone now. It's going to be a new sheriff in town one way or the other. And I think you should look to somebody who has experience at the State House and can deliver it uh, for you. So I'm looking forward to this uh, debate tonight, this forum, answering your questions, and uh, making a real difference as we go forward uh, in January of 2017. Thank you. This is about change. The campaign for change really starts tonight, right here, right now, with you. You have the most to gain, and you have the most to lose. This is a critical election. It's important that you get it right. Important for you, important for your family, important for your community. We can do this together. As I said at the beginning, I think you've been treated unfairly. I want to bring that labor experience that I have to make a difference, and there will be a change on day one. I want to bring my experience in Boston to bear fruit for you. No one can guarantee what's going to happen, but I think it's going to take somebody who's been down in Boston to make sure you get your fair share. Mike Albano. Sheriff, the stakes are too high.